everyone, welcome back to my channel. And if you are new, hi, my name is Lexi, and I am a stay-at-home mom of three German Shepherds and a toddler boy who is um, going through his, I'm gonna call him furious fours now that he just turned four because, whew, that attitude. <laughs> But um, I am a mom that does lifestyle videos, um, sometimes beauty videos, I'm throwing in some book videos, a um, whole bunch of just different videos. So if you just like a mom that puts out random content, then I am the person for you. <laughs> okay, um, but today's video is going to be another book video. So I decided, I'm sitting there like, what book videos can I do? I just did one about my books that I've read pre or recently, what I'm reading, some of my favorite, or some books I'm excited about um, that I'm going to read next. So I decided, let's talk about some of my favorite series. So my series kind of vary. Um, some of them are romance, some of them are not. Uh, it just kind of all varies. And I am an adult that tends to find myself enjoying young adult books. Some of my series are young adult. So um, I like that. I think that it doesn't matter how old you are. If you enjoy a book, you enjoy a book. So if you're an adult and you're reading young adult books or new adult or whatever, who cares? If you enjoy reading it, read it. So I'm just gonna kind of jump in because I'm probably gonna talk a lot because these are my favorite series. So obviously, if you can't notice, my top series that I read every year, I reread it, love it, watch the movies, Harry Potter, I can't recommend it enough. I think that it's a fantastic story, the way that it's written and the world of Hogwarts and the magical world. I think it's just incredible. I know some people don't agree, but I personally, it's my favorite series. It's just somewhere that if I need to escape my life and I'm just going through a hard time, the world of Harry Potter has always been my go-to, has always been my escape. Hogwarts and Harry, Ron and Hermione, they've always felt like home to me. And so they've always been my favorite so I go back to them time and time again so highly recommend them but I'm not going to talk too much about them because yeah everybody at least has heard of Harry Potter or know of Harry Potter or have read or watched so we're gonna go with that okay so I'm gonna um a lot of my series actually that I've read read, read recently that I love is on Kindle so I'm gonna show you on my iPad in a little bit but I'm gonna talk about the two series that I want to talk about that I actually have in person on uh, in actual like paperbacks and hardcovers and all that so I think the first series that I'm gonna talk about is one of my favorites now I um this first series is by Jenny Han, and if you recognize the name but you can't place it, it's To All the Boys I Loved Before. Um, that's the author. Now, I love To All the Boys I Loved Before. Um, great series. Uh, Laura Jean and Kavinsky. It's a really cute young adult romance, and I think that that was good. So highly recommend it. But this series just holds a place in my heart because I read this before the summer I, or I'm already spilling the beans. Um, I read this series before I read To All the Boys I Loved Before, before they had actually hit Netflix, all that stuff. So this series just holds a special place in my heart um, because it's just, it's a great coming of age book or trilogy or whatever um, and it's just such a cute just read I love it so that is the summer I turned pretty trilogy so there's the summer I turned pretty it's not summer without you and we'll always have summer so yeah we'll always have summer so these books follow um, belly 
um, based in Cousins Beach, and it also follows Conrad and Jeremiah. Um, though there are brothers, Conrad is the older one, Jeremiah is the younger one. Now, the basis of this trilogy is there's romance, but I wouldn't say romance is the main thing in it because there's a lot of different themes. You get romance um, between her and the brothers. I'm not going to spill any beans. Um, but there's some actually heavier stuff in this series. Um, you deal with loss in the series. You deal with Belly growing up because it starts with, uh, with her as a teenager and then gets her through high school and starts a college and stuff like that and starting her life. So coming of age, loss, um, romance, and there's just a lot about it. Now I will warn you, these are a slow burn. So they're not ones that you're going to open up and be like, oh my gosh, it's like, ooh, it, it, it like draws you in. No, it's a slow burn read. Um, but I think it's worth it. Once you get through the entire series or the trilogy, I think that it's completely, completely worth it. I love it. By the end, it ties together and it's just a heartwarming series that I just, I fell in love with. I read it as a teenager and I've reread it a couple times as an adult and I still think that it, you know, has grown with me kind of experiencing some things and kind of going through the same thing as, not same thing, but similar situations everybody goes through as belly. So I love it. Um, I will say the only problem I have with these is Belly is written very, very immaturely, I feel like. So a lot of times it's like, why did you make that decision? Like, come on, you should have known better. But everybody, you know, that's just how the book is written. So there are some immature vibes in it. But um, other than that, great series. Highly, highly recommend it. If you love To All The Boys I Loved Before, Jenny Han is just a fantastic author. So I think that you will love this book series or trilogy as well. Okay, the next series that I'm going to be talking about is also a young adult. Um, oh, kind of like, that was weird with my voice. Um, but it's another young adult uh, series, but this is different. This is, it has romance, but it's it's a spy series, which I have found that I'm loving the spy series. There's another one later on down the road. I'm excited to tell you about that. I loved it recently. It's just like, ugh, drew me in. Okay, this one is by Ali Carter, and you can see I, I've loved this copy. This has been my copy for years, and it's well loved. Um, this is the, I tell you I love you, but then I'd have to kill you. This is by Allie Carter. Like I said, my series is well-loved, well-worn, well-read. Um, so there's this. I'll read you the covers or the titles. Um, so it's I Tell You I Love You, But Then I Have to Kill You. And then it's Cross My Heart and Hope to Spy. Uh, Don't Judge a Girl by Her, co by her Cover. Then there is Only the Good Spy Young. Uh, out of sight, out of time, and United We Spy. Um, I all had all the like original um, covers that looked like this and not like this. But um, when we got my new puppy Cogsworth uh, back when my son was a baby, he ate them. Literally destroyed them. Pulled pages out, just destroyed them. So. Unfortunately, my series doesn't look pretty. This series is cute. I will say the first one is not my favorite, um, but it does, you know, start the whole process of the series. Um, this first one seems, to me, it's the most immature out of all of them. Um, and, but you have to read it because it's very important for the rest of it. So pretty much what it is, is it's Cammy Morgan. She goes to a spy school that no one knows that it's a spy school except for the people that are going there. Her mom is the head uh, headmistress, headmaster, whatever um, they call it in the book. And she lives with 
Um, it starts the series off with three girls, uh, Cammy, Bex, and Liz. Um, best friends since the very, very beginning of school. Later on, they add a fourth one, um, but I won't kind of spoil what happens with that because that is a big storyline. Um, but pretty much it follows these girls. These girls test in pretty much. They are tested to see how good they are and if they would be good with, you know, the whole spy life. And so they are, uh, they obviously get in. So, um, very, very smart, very strong, very just, they're built to be spies. So, so I think it starts at like 11, 11 years old, I think they go to the school, whatever it is. Um, the spy school, they pretty much teach you what you need to know um, based on how to fight, how to actually mentally be a spy, what to do with technology, things like that. And the school is also in charge of like creating new new products that help spies and stuff like that. Like, I think it's, is it a, exploding band-aids? No, not exploding band-aids. There's, it's been a while since I've read this, but like band-aids, I think that knock people out and stuff like that. Like you stick them on and it just knocks them out. I don't know. So interesting, interesting things, but pretty much, um, this is, I think it follows, is it her first year in the first one? I don't know, but it's, no, I think it's a couple of years into her schooling that the first one starts. It starts off with her getting her first boyfriend and stuff like that, so it's a very, very simple book. But then, for me, the series picks up in, um, Cross My Heart and Hope to Spy. Um, they start to pick up, which one is this? Uh, I'm wondering if this is when um, my favorite character is introduced. Okay, this is when my favorite character is introduced. Um, I won't explain who he is, but everybody, if you're a big reader, you know you have this like book boyfriend that that's like the first male character in a book that you're just like like in love with you can't get over and that is Zach in this book for me cross my heart and hope to spy love him he is a male spy obviously but this series just follows her through her journey of being in the spy school but she's not the typical spy because in high school she has this like terrorist group after her and so her and her friends and her mom and all the teachers have to like beat this spy terrorist group and mind you she's a teenager she's not fully trained yet and so she goes through it and by graduation she goes through a whole bunch of stuff that you would never think a high school or teenage girl would ever have to go through um so I think that this is a great spy series um young adult or whatever I think this is fantastic fantastic book there is or that series there is a total of six and they're all released so highly 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 recommend them they were just they again hold a special place in my heart I remember reading them a long time ago and I think the last book came out when I started college so um it's been a while but recommend them nonetheless they're fantastic okay so now some of my next series I'm going to pull up on my iPad because they are um, <sighs> digital. I didn't get a Kindle for the longest time, so uh, most of my co my current reads are going to be digital. Um, so the next two series I'm going to talk about are from one author. I've recently found her in the last year, and I love her. So this is not sponsored by her in no way, nothing, none of these books. I've bought them all, I've done them all. But I'm in love with it. I love her writing, I love her series, and that is Jillian Dodd. Uh, most of her, I think almost all of her titles are free with Kindle Unlimited. So Kindle Unlimited is great, again, not sponsored, but you pay, I think, a flat uh, rate of 14 or $15 a month and you can get, you can borrow books for free. 
So I think that my favorite from her is going to be London Prep. This series, oh my gosh. London Prep follows Mal, um, Mallory, who is doing an exchange program for like three weeks. She is lives in New York, but she is going to be doing an exchange program in London. And so she moves in with this family, and I believe it's Helen, I think is her name. Um, Noah is the son. Now, Noah's sister is doing the exchange in Greece. So she's not part of the picture. You hear, hear about it a little bit, but not too much. And then Noah has two friends named Harry and Muhammad. So it kind of follows her in this three-week span of her exchange and it's a romance story so it's kind of a there's like a love triangle um but it's a fantastic series now there mind you she's only there for three weeks and Jillian Dodd has already done three books so um the fourth one comes out February 24th I think around there so we have a few weeks and I'm excited because book three was an absolute cliffhanger so I'm very, very excited to get my hands on that book. Um, but it just follows Mallory in her exchange program with Noah and Harry and Muhammad. And you kind of fall in love with all of these characters differently. Everybody is different in the book. And you fall in love with them for all different reasons, um, but Noah secretly is my favorite character. Um, I do, you will get frustrated uh, with Noah because there are some things throughout that you're just like, really? Like, come on, step it up. But very, very good story. I believe this is young adult, but it doesn't feel young adult. It deals with you know, kids in high school and everything, but it just doesn't feel young adult. Jillian Dodd just does such a great job writing and with our series. The way that she builds the books up and the way that she writes the characters and the story, it's just, it keeps you coming back. And I absolutely love it. And that's why I keep going back to all of our series because every single series draws me in. Um, but this one is fantastic. It's just if you love, you know, kind of like love triangles, romances, uh, just there's just a whole bunch of different tropes in here. So highly, highly recommend it. And I think that you will love it if you pick it up. Plus, you might as well pick it up and read the first three on Kindle Unlimited before the fourth one comes out in a few weeks. So go and do that and you'll thank me later. The next series that I am going to recommend by Jillian Dodd is her Kitty Valentine series. So this is Kitty Valentine Dates an Actor. Um, this I think is like the fourth or fifth book in the series. I have not finished it yet, but I know that I'm going to and I'm going to love it. So I loved the idea and thought process and like just everything about this series. So Kenny Valentine is an author of a romance of romance books. Um, so what the book series is about is each book is different. So I guess you can read them just one here, one there. You don't have to read them in order. But it does help a little bit. Now, very, very little. Not like a tremendous amount. So you do not have to read like she, well, maybe Kitty Valentine dates a billionaire. That's the first one. Um, only because it explains in the book more of why she's doing it. But each book kind of revisits it. So you can kind of essentially read what, whichever one you want. I don't know. I read it in, in order. So I'm loving it. But essentially what it is is that She's a romance writer and she's always uh, she's always wrote the sweet kind of sappy romance books. But nowadays, at least in the book, but I think it's actually true in reality as well, people like a little bit more steamier, sexy scenes in romance books. And so her editor is like, hey, 
let's write some more um, sex scenes, some more steamier scenes in your books. And she freaks out because she's like, I'm 25, I haven't dated all that much. She's not like, you know, naive, but she is not very experienced. So her and her friend, mainly her friend, comes up with a thing where she dates a different guy and then writes about it. So the first one was a billionaire. What was the second one? The second one was a doctor. The third one was a musician. Uh, there was a fireman. Um, the running joke has been a Santa Claus, which Jillian Dodd just came out with, so I'm really excited about that because, I don't know, it's weird. Somebody dates Santa. But it's been a running joke in the series that, I don't know, I'm really excited to read it. Um, so I'm on an actor. Uh, well, I haven't started it. This is my next book. But super excited to read it because Kitty is just, it's such a fun book. Now, don't get me wrong. Or, don't get me wrong. There, the scenes in these books aren't super sexy. Like, you're not going to turn around and go, whew, like, we got to open a window. But they're cute. You know what it's supposed to be. You know what's happening. You know that stuff. But it doesn't, you don't get the raunchy kind of like, really over the top sex scenes in these books. You just get, honestly, you get to watch Kitty learn things about herself, learn, thing, learn things about herself, learn things about what she wants in a man, how she's writing new experiences. So I think that Kitty Valentine is just, it's such a cute series and it's just so many different stories that, and, and throughout the series too, every book is a different s story, but you get to watch Kitty grow. And I think that's my favorite part. Okay, so Kitty Valentine, highly recommend. Okay, so let me find the other series by Kitty Valentine that I absolutely fell in love with. I couldn't put it down. I read it till all times of the night. I stayed up all night reading. I couldn't, I, I, I was dreaming about this series. I know, it's weird. I had dreams about it, but it was so good. So let me get to the cover art so you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, so this series by Jillian Dodd as well is Spy Girl. So this is a seven book series. This was amazing. Um, I believe her name is X. Um, so she's an orphan and she ends up going to this school that names her ex. I can't remember her name that she goes undercover, but they name her ex and she is trained to be a spy. Well, she's 18, but before she even graduates, she gets put on her first mission. And the things that she has to do and the things that she learns about her life, because you, you start the series off as, she's an orphan, this and that, and, and you're just like, as you're reading, you're like, Everything that she was told, everything that she was taught was like completely not true. It was completely opposite of the truth. And every turn of the page, it was like there was something new. It kept me coming back. And there is a um, global pandemic in the book. I had no clue about this and I read this obviously during quarantine. Um, California's quarantine just got lifted um, not too long ago. So um, almost, what, March? So almost a year, pretty much stay at home quarantine. And yeah, that was, that was t difficult. So like I said, series from Jillian Dodd actually kept me going. I loved every second of them. And the fact that Spy Girl had a very, very similar pandemic. I'm not going to give too much, but you have to read. But it, there was a lot of correlations and I was like, whoa, she can tell the future. She knew what was going to happen. It was, it was crazy. And I think I love that aspect because I was able to relate so much to that book or that series while I was reading it because of what was going on in real life. So I think it was so cool. It kept me on the edge of my seat. There was just so much 
going on and it was just there were so many new things the character building was fantastic there was drama there was gossip there was spy there was romance there was there was so much going on that it was just a great book and I loved it um so yeah I think that those are kind of the, the series I'm going to talk about now now I can always do another video of more series because five or six series is not enough for me. Um, I, I tend to read a lot of series because I like them. I like being able to continue the story. I know a lot of people like standalone books, but I love to just live that story for ages and see what else happens. I love watching the characters grow. I, and there's just so much I want to do. Now, there's a lot of series that I have not gotten into yet and I need recommendations. If you're watching this and you have good recommendations, I want to start on some fantasy, um, series so I've never really been well besides Harry Potter I've never been into like super big fantasies and my husband and I just watched have any of you watched Fate the Wink Saga on Netflix we were hooked we finished it like that literally in less than 24 hours it was done and we loved it um and I was looking up and apparently there's no book series about it, which I was kind of sad. I guess they're coming out with one based on the on the show. And I was like, eh. so if you guys know any series that you would recommend, I know that there's a lot off of YouTube. I can get recommendations all the time. But if you're watching this and you have some recommendations, please let me know because I would love to start getting into fantasy. I, I feel like fantasy is growing on me. I've always I've been more of a rom romance reader, but I think I need to try my hand on fantasy because I think I would really enjoy it. I love to dive into those worlds. So let me know. And if you do have any recommendations and you want me to do videos on them, I can read them and then give you recommendations. So just keep it coming. Um, if So if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. And I just want to thank you guys so much. And if you're new to this channel, please subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks so much. Bye.